Hi, this is Mike Strong, M&L Motors, Automotive Lock and Key Services in West Sussex. Uh, just a little continuation on here from our uh, little line of videos we're doing on um, modern vehicle keys, uh, battery locations and emergency elements to the emergency element key blades that are located sometimes um, within the key that can't be seen. So... Uh, case in question we have this this type of key here this is a full proximity key from uh, a Vauxhall Astra VXR recently had a customer called me up uh, and he, he said to me my I've got a VXR prox key and the prox key isn't working the car won't start so the the buttons don't work on the key and um, you know, I need a new key. So quite often than not, it's not necessarily the fact you need a new key. It can simply be the battery in this key has failed. And um, without knowing it, that there is, a, there is actually a battery inside this key that you can replace. You know, people can be fooled into thinking that the fob's failed, my car won't start, um, I need... Uh, an expensive new car key well that's not the case with these um well, what we're going to do is uh, i'm going to show you how where the battery is located on this style of fob and how to uh, open the key up safely locate the battery remove it replace it put the key back together and then you should find nine times out of ten your fob will be working absolutely as normal so with this type of key, uh, you, you will notice it's got this sort of, I don't know, little sort of slidey, switchy type sort of uh, assembly on the back side of the key. So under this cover here is where is what's usually located is a plastic emergency key blade. It's actually missing on this key, but if you just press that in with your thumb and push your thumb forward, you'll find that this silver cover actually detaches and then what should be located in here is a plastic uh, emergency key and that's once again that's simply um, if I just show you it's simply uh, just used to uh, insert into the uh, the driver's door lock open it manually so but I can't show you that because this one's actually missing but what I can show you on this key is where the battery is located so before you start getting into a panic thinking my keys not working my car won't start it will be definitely worth trying to change the battery first so where is the battery located I mean I've seen people absolutely butcher these keys trying to split it apart here you know, we get big sort of screwdriver in here and, you know, you just end up chewing the key to bits. And these keys, they're not the best of wearing, um, best of hard wearing keys anyway. So they, after a, a, a while, they don't look great anyway. But the last thing you want is big gouges down the side of your key. So the way to split this key apart is quite simple, really. So with the metal cover off of the end, we take that off we would remove the emergency blade if it was there but what we're going to do is we're just going to take our uh, little flat bladed screwdriver if I can find it so we're going to take that and then it's a little bit hard to see here but if you see this this line here that's the line where the uh, the metal slide would normally slide on and just below it just below that, to the top left, or top right hand here, there's just a very small little gap in the plastic. So, right there. So what we're going to do is get our screwdriver in that gap. It's not exactly easy to separate these keys. If you can't get it on that side, you can get it on that side. 
it's quite simple. Uh, and then we'll just find that will peel away and that will reveal our battery. And you can just simply remove the battery. And again, on this key, it looks like yeah, it's another 2032 3 volt lithium cell. So if you just think about the voxel badge, literally the battery is located underneath the voxel badge on this type transponder. Um, just try and be careful not to touch the circuit board. Uh, these are electrostatic sensitive. So it's just, we don't really want to be touching that at all. So we just get the battery, the new battery, put the battery back in. Make sure your contacts are all still in place on the, the back side of the key. And then it's just literally a simple case. Put the key back together and it will snap back shut. And then just reinsert your emergency key. Put the cover back on. Job done. You'll probably find your remote key will be working completely as normal. If, however, your key is not working, uh, you're still having problems with it, give us a call on 01903 718241 or you can get us on the mobile 0771 851 859 and uh, we can come out, we can either supply you a new prox, uh, we can do some tests on your old key, we can make sure it's uh, emitting some signals. It could even find it's not the key, it could actually be the keyless entry unit in the vehicle itself, but... Give us a call and we'll see if we can help you out. Okay, thanks for watching.